Hi, I am Cheyenne Kramer, and I'm going to share with you the three keys to finding meaningful work. In this video, I'll share with you the three most important things that you must do to find meaningful work. I've been helping people for over 25 years to find and create career adjustments. So let's see what we can do to help you today. And in just a moment, I will reveal the biggest mistake that most people make that can totally derail your process. But first, let's explore those three keys. The first key is, have you answered the question? What is meaningful work to you? Because what might be meaningful work to me may not have anything with what's meaningful work to you. Have you identified a purpose, a passion, something that gets you totally stoked to think about doing it? Here's a good question for you to think about. What do you love to do so much that if you got paid to do it, you would kind of feel like you were getting paid to play? That's the first key. Second key, where are you networking? So many people I talk to these days just don't want to get out and network with other people. But here's a fact. 70 to 80 percent of all jobs are found through networking. Do you really want to fight with everybody else online for 20 to 30 percent of what's available out there? One of my big recommendations is meetup.com. If you haven't gone on there and looked to see where there are small businesses that are networking together in your area, you are missing the boat in a big way. Meetup.com is a great place to start. A lot of times you'll find some good things on eventbrite.com as well. Find those meetups and go meet some people. Asking people for help is your best option for landing a meaningful job. Third key, do the research. If something meaningful would involve doing a career change, you need to do some research online to see what additional training might be needed. Is it a certification? Is it an advanced degree? While you're out networking, try to find someone who's already doing what you think you would like to do and ask them, for an informational interview. Most people feel really flattered that you would ask. So those are the three main keys, but I know you wanna know about that big mistake you need to avoid. So here it is. You absolutely must be open to new ideas that are presented to you. The word exploration needs to be at the top of your list of things to do. Believe it or not, I estimate that I spent over a year being unemployed when I didn't need to be, just because I was too stubborn to explore the new ideas that were being presented to me. That is a key, folks. Exploration. Don't automatically think you know what's going to be the perfect job for you without doing some exploration. Leave me a comment and let me know if you've ever turned down a job that perhaps later you might actually ended up wishing that you were taking. If you found this information to be helpful, do me a favor, please click subscribe and remember to click the bell as well so you get notifications about new tips on finding or creating meaningful work for you. In the next video, I'm going to share the three questions you can ask yourself to determine what might be a meaningful passion or purpose for you. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for being here. Bye now.